Brendan Fraser is an actor that young people might not easily remember now, but he was a big star and at the height of his career until many things took him away from the cameras. But now this actor has made a major comeback and it's a good thing to see. Many things were out to get Brendan frustrated in the course of his booming career. One of them was when he got depressed after being violated indecently by a powerful figure in Hollywood. And that's a former president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, Philip Burke. According to Brendan, this incident took place in 2003 at a hotel in Beverly Hills. And it was so traumatic to him that he remembers every little detail of what happened that very day. The actor said that Burke touched him inappropriately with his left hand by grabbing him from behind. The touching could have been a mistake mistake, but Burke didn't stop as he continued rubbing his finger around Brendan's lower back. He added, saying, I felt ill. I felt like a little kid. I felt like there was a ball in my throat. I thought I was going to cry. That event was like the beginning of the end of Brendan's career. At the time, he was scared to reveal this information to the public because he knew it would affect his job. So he only told his wife and agent, but continued to live with the trauma this experience caused him. Then Brendan noticed that he stopped getting invitations to attend the Golden Globe Awards, which is hosted by by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. He wasn't sure if what happened with their former president was the cause. Still, Brendan just knew at that moment that something was off, and so he had to assume that his traumatic experience with Burke caused it. However, seeing his career take a downward turn only made him even more traumatized and depressed, and he started to lack the confidence to go further. But Brendan didn't share this until the Me Too movement hit the world, and he used the opportunity to share his awful experience. Burke denied these claims that Brendan made as he said, Mr. Fraser's version is a total fabrication. Brendan also experienced another shock when his now ex-wife, Afton Smith, left him in 2007. They got divorced in 2008. This ex-couple met in the 90s at a party hosted at Winona Ryder's house and got married in 1998. They had three children together. Afton is also an actress as she has been featured in several films. But after their divorce, the court ordered Brendan to pay child support and alimony for their three kids, which he consistently did up until 2013. With a failing career at that point, Brendan could barely afford to continue paying $900,000 in a year. He told the court to reduce it because he didn't even have a job to support himself. Another thing that affected Brendan was his difficult acting jobs. And it's funny because many people think he was lucky to be getting so many roles in his younger years. But the truth is that the actor has been quite unlucky. Actors put in a lot of work to make their actions appear real. And that's one of the things that Brendan was known for. He became very popular in the 90s and the 2000s because he was young with a strong physique and ready to put in the work to do his stunts. But performing these difficult stunts in the action movies affected Brendan physically, as he was getting booked for one surgery after another. Brendan did surgery for knee replacement due to the stunts that he did in a movie. He also had a major operation on his spine and his vocal cords. Brendan doesn't just perform stunts, he does every other activity required from his character too. And one happened when he was featured in Airheads, as he had to play the band leader and sing the songs himself. In this movie, Brendan acts alongside Adam Sandler and Steve Buscemi as they play a trio in a struggling band that had to take a radio station hostage so that their music could get aired. In this film, Brendan had to step up and play a musical instrument like the guitar and had to learn to stretch his voice to sing. He said, I was taught some power chords and told, do less, don't sing, just belt it out. It was more like a fun experience for Brendan as he also learned many things he wouldn't have known, but that experience could have led him to strain his vocal cords which later needed surgery. Brendan was always so extra in acting that he literally passed away for 18 seconds while acting in The Mummy. The actor played the role of Rick O'Connell in The Mummy, and Rick is a character that enjoys going on adventures in the film. There was a scene where he was hanged and saved by Evelyn, but this scene was terrible behind the scenes because that moment almost went wrong as Brendan was hanged and out of breath for about 18 seconds. And that's because a mistake was made as the rope used as a prop for the scene was tightened around his neck. When the film for the sequel The Mummy Returns was going on, Brendan damaged his spinal disc and cracked a rib on the set. And also, the actor was almost arrested along with the crew and cast on the set. Some of the film's shooting happened in London, and the crew and cast thought they had permission to use the bridge near London's Tower Bridge for about 20 minutes to shoot, but after 10 minutes, there was traffic. And other drivers were very mad at them for the standstill, and it almost broke into a big fight until Scotland Yard police interfered and threatened to arrest everyone on set, including Brendan. 
London if the shooting wasn't stopped. So they had to wrap up production for that scene at that instant. Also, while filming the desert scenes for The Mummy, Brendan and other cast members faced terrible sandstorms and were greatly exposed to dangerous animals like snakes, spiders and scorpions. For Brendan and the rest not to get stung and bitten by these dangerous creatures, the actor was made to drink a hydrating concoction every two hours while filming at this location. The Mummy movies may have almost gotten rid of Brendan, but he definitely made the highest money of his career from the film. From the first part to other sequels made, the actor earned a total of $30 million. However, The Mummy wasn't the only film that tried to get rid of Brendan through the dangerous activities required to be carried out on set. The actor also got to feature in Journey to the Center of the Earth, which was another horrific experience for him. Mistakenly, Brendan sets himself on fire in a scene where his character Trevor is meant to light up a match, but due to magnesium in the wall behind him, the place also catches fire. And he was standing so close to the wall and the fire quickly bounced from the wall to his hand, and this caused the actor to scream. So his screams in that scene were real ones, coming from a place of pain. Brendan Fraser wasn't just burned in Journey to the Center of the Earth, he also had to starve himself to look like he did in George of the Jungle. And it was another huge difficulty that he had to keep up with. The actor said they wouldn't let him take carbohydrates so he could maintain his fine abs, but he suffered as a result of that because his brain also got starved and he couldn't remember many things like his ATM pin. Due to these many experiences, Brendan got a role in a movie about almost out-of-life experience because he had so many of them and understands what it feels like. Brendan was made to play the role of Rene and Animus in The Secret of Karma in 2020, which is about a man who passed twice and came back to life and could remember what his past lives were like. Despite many of his breakthroughs in the film industry, Brendan stopped getting jobs even though he tried, and his fans had to step in by signing a Change.org petition on his behalf to ask filmmakers to start hiring him again in 2016. The petition was titled, Bring Brendan Fraser Back Into Film Slash Television. The petition focused on Netflix and other big television platforms to give him a try. With nothing much left for him in Hollywood after his career went down, Brendan made his first appearance in Bollywood in 2019. The actor featured in Line of Descent, which was set in Mumbai, as he plays the role of Charu. Even though the setting is different from what he has always known, Brendan enjoyed taking the job and getting to do something different. But now, Brendan is back and better in Hollywood after a long time of battling with depression. Fans can't stop talking about Brendan's performance in The Whale as Charlie. After so many years of being out of the picture, Brendan got to step up as he was made to wear a prosthetic suit that made him look like he weighed 272 kilograms while playing the role of a man who struggles with eating issues, obesity, and relationships. To change from his trim self to the overweight lead character, Brendan had to spend six hours every day getting the prosthetics ready for him. Then he revealed the struggles from playing the role by saying he experienced a loss of balance whenever the suit was taken off him, and also he was mentally and physically drained while playing the role. However, the iconic role has finally made Brendan remembered and recognized for awards that he was deprived of for so many years, and it is such a good time for the actor to feel revived again. What do you think of Brendan Fraser's career struggles and award-winning comeback? Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.